Hello guys. This is Dr. Rizwan Mirza. Welcome to my channel at Birdologist. Hello guys. Let's discuss Henic Shanlin purpura today. It is the most common form of systemic vasculitis in children, but can occur in individuals of all ages. It is an autoimmune disease, characterized by IgA deposition in affected blood vessels. Henic Shanlin purpura is characterized by inflammation of small blood vessels, called vasculitis, and the deposition of IgA antibodies in the affected blood vessels. Henic Shanlin purpura can affect various organs in the body, including the skin, gastrointestinal tract, joints, and kidneys. Symptoms include skin rash, abdominal symptoms, joint pain, kidney involvement. Skin rash is one of the hallmark features of HSP. The rash typically appears as palpable purpura. These are small, raised, purple or red spots on the skin that do not turn pale when pressure is applied. The rash often begins on the lower extremities, that is, legs and buttocks, with sparing trunk and face. Abdominal symptoms include, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and bloody stools. In severe cases, it may lead to GI bleeding. Joint symptoms include, joint pain, and joint swelling also called arthralgia. Kidney involvement varies from mild proteinuria to more severe forms of kidney disease that is glomerulonephritis. The exact cause of HSP is not well understood, but it often follows an upper respiratory tract infection, or, exposure to certain medications, or, environmental factors. Pathogenic pathway is similar to that of IgA nephropathy. Serum IgA are found in 30 to 50% of adult patients with HSP. But these IgA levels do not correlate with disease activity or severity. Diagnosis is mostly made on the basis of clinical symptoms and physical examination. Laboratory tests like serum creatinine and urine DR may help identify nephritis. Serum IgA levels may be checked. Confirmation of clinical diagnosis of henic shanlin purpura is made by skin biopsy or kidney biopsy. Skin biopsy shows leukocytoclastic vasculitis. IgA immune complex deposition can be seen using immunofluors and staining. Kidney biopsy is performed in cases of nephritis. Histologic features are similar to those in IgA nephropathy. For more information on IgA nephropathy, you can watch the separate video on it that we made and published earlier. We will attach the link to the video on IgA nephropathy in the first comment. Let's recall the findings of IgA nephropathy on kidney biopsy. On light microscopy we might observe 1. Mesangeal hypercellularity, which is most commonly diffuse and global but focal segmental hypercellularity can be seen. 2. Crescentic change may be seen. 3. Mononuclear cell infiltration is associated with tubular atrophy and interstitial fibrosis, leading to widening of cortical interstitium, it indicates poor prognosis. On immunohistology, we will observe 1. IgA deposits in renal mesangium. In 15% cases only IgA deposits are seen. 2. In 50 to 70% cases IgG deposits might also be seen. 3. In 31 to 66% cases IgM deposits might also be seen. 4. Complement component C3 might also be present. On electron microscopy, we will observe. 1. Mesangial and paramesangial electron dense deposits corresponding to IgA immune complexes. 2. Glomerular capillary wall deposits may be seen in subepithelial or subendothelial spaces, it is associated with more severe disease. 3. Glomerular basement membrane abnormalities are seen in 15 to 40 percent cases, associated with heavy proteinuria and crescent formation. 4. Some patient might experience thinning of basement membrane, indistinguishable from thin basement membrane disease. Treatment of patients diagnosed with henic shanlin purpura, with hematuria, proteinuria or mildly reduced GFR do not require any specific treatment and nephritis usually resolves spontaneously.
In patients with crescentic HSP nephritis, that is, with rapidly progressive loss of kidney functions, high doses of pulsed corticosteroids, followed by three-month course of oral steroids, might be beneficial. Kidney transplant it is the treatment of choice in patients with ESRD resulting from HSP nephritis. As in IgA nephropathy, recurrence may occur, but graft loss with HSP is less common. Transplant should be delayed for 12 months from date of presentation. Talking about prognosis, the majority of individuals with HSP recover without long-term complications. In some cases, especially when there is significant kidney involvement, follow-up and monitoring may be necessary. Patients may be followed as for IgA nephropathy. Regular follow-up with a nephrologist is essential to monitor kidney function, proteinuria, and blood pressure. If you have any questions or query, do leave us a comment. Subscribe to my channel at YouTube at Gerdologist and press the bell icon for updated video. You can also follow my page at Facebook and follow me on Instagram. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video.